I've had lots of different experiences here at the Ramen, probably since I was a child. Um, it scared me that much. I didn't come in for about 20 years. And recently, well, in the past couple of years, I've been coming back for different investigations. And given that my spiritual gifts grow more and more, there's a lot more that I can now pick up and tune into. Um, and for example, right at this moment in time, I can feel that there is someone stood behind me and we've been having this crow um, randomly move on its own, even though there's no drafts whatsoever. We've checked that out already. The deeds go back to 1350 and they're in Norman French. It says in there it was built in time immemorial, which is 1145. So that means it's before records began. So we don't know when it was built. All we can tell you is that it's on a Bronze Age settlement. And I think there's a Roman wall outside, according to the archaeologist. We just don't know. My dad, John Humphreys, moved in in 1968. And I think the activity started then, but I'm still reading the diaries, so I'll let you know. But I believe it started around the 70s. And it started when his, he said it started his first night in bed, above what is now the grave, he was pulled, his wrists were pulled backwards through the wall when he laid in bed like this. The reason I don't live here is because last time I did, the bedside cabinet launched itself down the attic stairs with my tarot cards in it. Um, I didn't see it happen, but I heard it happen and it sounded like the cupboard was going to smash to pieces. Anyway, ever since then, there has not been a bedside cabinet in that room. I put it back about three weeks ago and on Sunday when I came to tidy up after the customers had been in, the cupboard was on the bed and the drawer was open. We've got mirrors in here. Yes. That Lots. are, yeah, they're causing a grid. Now, okay. mirrors shouldn't really be, back in the days of when this would have been quite active, Yeah. they believe that mirrors shouldn't be facing the bed. Oh, is that right? Because spirits well, one, two, can come three, out. Four. Yeah, and then any spirit that would want to leave, Yes. They can't get out because there's a, a reflection, a reflection the and they can't get out. Oh, right. oh, so thing. what you've got in here now is a grid. And they're all trapped. And you've got that bed underneath. Yeah, it's actually just here against this wall. Yeah, so we've got energy being amplified, wow. which I think is why we've got this swirling feeling going on. Okay. And that's moving. That what? That's moving? That's moving. And I'm seeing energy in that so okay. these i don't know where those two came from oh they've been here for years that's been here i don't know actually they've been here since i've been running it and that one's not moved really yeah it's that that's that was not a nice years ago. that's not a nice man not a nice mirror not a nice mirror <laughs> Well, the reflection's not always good anyway. Oh, <laughs> but no, that, it's got almost like something trapped within it. Oh, sugar. Which is probably why we are seeing, yeah, that type of energy. Oh, dear. Um, whereas that one's just pinging it back into the room. So they're kind of like okay. working together. Those two, it's almost like they're just stopping anyone leaving. Okay. So whether so you get tapping, um, or stuff moving in here other than that, yeah. this could be why, because it's almost like that we want to get sense. out and yeah. we can't. Yeah. It's that type of place that it can really play with your imagination. You walk in, it's got that feel. However, you take all that away, you can't deny it. There are things here that you just can't explain. Things will happen when you least expect it, um, and you just can't, you just can't explain it. So how was this visit tonight? felt to you? This one feels a lot more lighter considering it's that week of Halloween yeah. um, it feels much lighter I don't know if somebody's cleansed or it's just because things have been moved about there are things we can't explain in this world that happen but I don't know where this bed came from because obviously it's not original to the building but it would be interesting to find out where it did come from because I, I think the history of it. I might come across it in the tyres. I'm still try and find it. Yeah, because yeah. I think the history of where that came from, whatever building. Yeah. Something happens with that. So. 
I can, it's electric is coming off it. Wow. That's the only way I can describe it. And it's like, get away. But it, it's made her go quiet anyway. It's the lady who owns the room, as she yeah, calls she's it. She's not happy about it, is she? She's, no, like but it. it's made her go, fine, I will be quiet for the moment. It's oh. a masculine energy. She doesn't like men. I thought so, yeah. Um, because she was... Okay, she was killed, she was strangled by a man wrongly accused of witchcraft ah. and put to death out there. And it was a man of power. She showed me it's almost monk or priest, somebody who she's calling a man of power. They did horrible internal things to her as well. Oh. So I just need to get that because that's painful. Oh. I have experienced some unusual activity in the form of spirit coming out of mirrors. Uh, we've captured some orbs on camera as well and I think we've all experienced something whether it's feeling a little bit disorientated or feeling chills but the ramen always has something for you to take away, whether it's a spirit or a story.